most of us we were beginners. We knew how to fly airplanes, and we didn't know too much about airplanes. For me, it was um, I just enjoyed putting a show on, and uh, the flying was uh, just a pleasure. In Australia, it's the complete opposite. You know, it's built to go fast, and the faster you go, it just likes it better and better. So you, you can go from 250 miles an hour to 400 miles an hour in the blink of an eye, and it just feels comfortable. Uh, the faster you go, the more comfortable it is. Well, I've been there 48 years, but I, I led the start of the races for, uh, I think, maybe as much as 30 years consecutively. Uh, but I saw an awful lot of incidents, and a lot of times I'd have to call the pilots and say, you're going off the cliff. Expanding that thought process, you know, it's, it's hard to, for the costs involved to develop an airplane that's as well developed as the Mustang or the Bearcat or the Sea Fury. You know, they've just got millions of hours of test flying, they know we know where the limits are with them. We've got a business that really runs for one week a year, so we maintain a staff uh, of seven throughout the year, and then we balloon to about 2,500 for uh, about 10 days, and then we go back to seven. I told Tiger, I said, well, I think it can put 20 miles an hour on your airplane. And he said, so do you know how fast this thing is? I says, well, how fast do you think it is? Well, the arena race has got off to a very good start, and primarily the pilots are all real well qualified. Uh, only one pilot was not an ex-military pilot. So everybody had formation experience. Hey, we should get that Bearcat and put an engine on it and go racing. You know, and he said, yeah, and then we started talking to some other people about it, you know, just kind of BSing them too, and they took us serious, and I thought, wow, you know, maybe we ought to look into this, and we talked to a pilot, and he said he'd fly it. The people, the fans, and all the media that come out dealing with the people and seeing the excitement in their faces. Right, so let's go up to Reno and see what Stead has to say about this business. You know what, start a Reno Air Races. First flew Steve's dad's Mustang in 2007, I believe, and it was real interesting having worked on one for so many years to go fly it and see how the airplane really felt. And it did help me a little bit get a better understanding of some of the things they were talking about in the sky. Well, Tiger DeStefani uh, bought a, a, a P-51 and he didn't uh, know how to fly airplanes yet. So I, I picked it up for him, brought it to Bakersfield and I owned an AT-6 at the time. So stuck him in the AT-6, gave him some dual. Tiger's a fast learner and it wasn't long before he was flying uh, the Mustang also. Yeah. Next morning, I'm standing by the airplane, out on the ramp, I'd never been to Reno before, and Phil Barber comes out there from the Reno paper, and he comes over to me and, and uh, looks at me, so you're gonna fly in Genie. We're sitting beside Genie, and Zusha was working on the, on the motor at the time. He says, so you're gonna fly Genie? And I said, yeah. He said, so, uh, you ever raced in Reno before? And I said, no, huh? He says, uh, how much time do you have on that airplane? I said, I flew it up here. And he says, so are you like a half an hour? And I said, yeah, something like that. I tell you what got me going to airplanes, believe it or not, was that movie, The Hunters. Uh, I can remember uh, the Robert Mitchum, Robert Wagner, Korean War story. Um, I can remember standing in line with my dad and with the, he'd give me a dime and that's what it cost to go see it. And then when I got out of there, then it was all about starting to build models. And... Well, pretty much I'd done it myself. I remember the first year I was there, I'm just standing out there and I'm, I'm watching these guys go around the course and I'm looking at the guys that I think did a really good job. You can kind of tell them they're flying and the ones that didn't. And so it was like, well, that's the way he's doing it. He's doing it. It looks really good. He's got to be doing a better job. And so when it came time for me to do it, I'm going to do it like that. So I just kind of watched and learned from watching and then just go do it that way. Racing, it's in our DNA as humans. We're born with the desire to be the fastest, first to cross the finish line, the front runner. Our ancestors raced. They raced on foot and on horseback in chariots and then with automobiles and yachts and best of all, airplanes. Airplanes like this one.
the Shockley family who invented the awesome Fuzzer Show and uh, Shockley, the duo here.